Yeah, girl. I'm telling you, you better start that channel. You better start that TikTok. You better, you better start it. In just six months, six, I was able to quit my job. Hallelujah. I was able to do content creating full time. I was allowing my fiance and I to travel the world comfortably, live black girl luxury, okay? Pay off all of my debt, and I, me, lo me, paid for an all-inclusive trip for my family and friends. And it was to a private island. I paid for my wedding, my dream wedding, all from YouTube, changing my life. but I'm speaking into the existence, okay? Did you know life and death are in the power of the tongue? Mm-hmm. Yep, you better speak what you want. You better claim it because God gonna give it to you. What's up, gorgeous? Today, I'm gonna be talking to you about how YouTube changed my life. I know that YouTube is gonna change my life in 2024. I am so excited about this year. I am excited because I feel like it's all about intentionality right now. It's all about... Like, there's so much in my head of all these creative ideas and things that I want to do about being a, like a content creator and things like that. It's in here. I am new to this journey of content creating, but I feel like I got a little seasoning, if you know what I mean. If you know me, you know. We're just going to get into goals that I feel like I want to obtain with my YouTube channel in 2024. And I started it at the end of 2023, basically 2024. And these are the goals that I have for my channel and for me. First things first. Yeah. I want to thank God every day for bringing me this far and keeping my mindset clear. And by that, I mean, back in 2020, I started making Instagram videos and... I was going viral for the most part. I mean, viral for me, I was getting like 7,000 to 200,000 views a post and, or my reels. And I mean, that was huge for me. I mean, I just started, it was in the pandemic like most people and, you know, cooped up in the house, nothing to do. I started creating videos. Lo and behold, they started going up and, you know, I started creating a small fan base that was actually waiting for me to create videos. Like they would message me like, when's your next video? And things like that. And that made me feel good knowing that people were waiting on me to make a video. And I was just doing like, you know, the voiceover funny videos. Like I thought it was funny, funny for me. And then I went on a two year hiatus. I, you know, life started lifing and it got put on the shelf, the back burner, creating just wasn't realistic at that moment for me as much as I loved it as much as I never wanted to put it down things like that it just things happen but we are here now that's all that matters and we're back my goal for my channel in 2024 is to reach a minimum of a thousand followers and subscribers a minimum of 4,000 hour watch time now this requirement is literally the requirement to become part of YouTube's partnership or partnership program where you can get monetized for your content. Who doesn't want to get monetized for their content? Like, the, we, we are on here for reasons, and if monetization isn't one of yours, cool, but it is mine. Another goal of mine is to grow my following. It is so hard to grow a following on YouTube, especially when... You haven't really been on social media. My presence has not been there. I have not been taking pictures. I have not been posting, things like that. So my following is not really engaged right now. And I'm kind of starting from zero. So I want to grow my followers 
authentically. I want people to learn about me. I want them to get to know my personality through the camera. I want them to follow me because they relate to me or they just enjoy the content I make or they enjoy the videos and try to recreate them, things like that. I also want to discover my way of being creative. Like there's so many creative people out there and I've never been one to claim that I was creative, but when you express yourself through makeup, fashion, beauty, skin, hair, whatever, that's your way of showing, expressing yourself and being creative. And I wanna find my way of being creative and maybe, maybe start a trend. One day I just do something crazy with my makeup and it just <laughs> hits off. It's like, everybody's like, wow, that was pretty cool. I've never tried that. And all of a sudden it's just like an overnight sensation. My aspiration is to collaborate with brands, um, whether it's because I reached out to them or they saw my channel organically and just want me to be a part of their brand. They feel like I would be, you know, an asset into reviewing their products, into just being a part of their PR list, collaborating with them, getting my authentic opinion and review. Because I'm gonna keep it real. And they just appreciate that. And it just, you know, for me to be on somebody's list, for them to see me and reach out to me, that means a lot. That means that I'm growing in the right direction that I want to grow in. And it's a step in the right direction. It's a step in creating a business, uh, you know, creating a platform, reaching out to many, 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 many people. And I mean, the whole point of this is, to, is for your reach. Where, what can you reach and what are you going to do with your reach? And I plan to do a lot of things. I have so so many things to do. There's so much to give back to. There's so much to be thankful for. There's so much to just spread the word of God for. Um, so that is one. Um, I recently stumbled upon Sephora Squad. And if that's not my biggest goal of 2024, I, I was just researching like brands to become affiliated with and things like that and, and I stumbled upon Sephora Squad and now this has been like my top tier goal of 2024 aside from getting married um I want to work with them I want to learn how to grow a business I want to learn how to manage a business manage a brand um and just grow as a platform and a content creator and a beauty content creator. I want to learn what type of things people are looking for, how to pitch myself, how to um, make better videos, how to just give what anybody, what they are looking for, how to make myself um, appetizing to brands. How do I get myself on brand deals? How do I work on my personal growth, my business growth, just all that there's so much to learn and I feel like the biggest afforded opportunity is the Sephora squad and it's an amazing opportunity honestly if you ever have time to look it up it's it's pretty cool and I would love to be a part of that journey love to be a part of that journey they have so many resources and advice they could give I mean that's a, a life-changing blessing just wrapped up in a package with a nice little bow and I think it's got my name on it you just watch I'm claiming it okay YouTube could change my life because it could put me in a better situation of finding my long-term career influencing. I love to teach. I love to train. I love to guide. Somehow, somewhere, I'm finding myself guiding somebody in something. They didn't ask me, but because I thought I could show them a different way, I just do it. Um, and eventually, I want to bring in enough revenue to be able to quit my full-time job and do this full-time. I mean, minimum, I want to make at least, at least minimum, I want to make $5,000 on YouTube this year. And I'm saying it here, so it's it's for reference, that I want to make $5,000. And at the end of 2024, somebody asked me, did I make $5,000? I think YouTube is going to change my life because there's so many people in this world to me. There's so many people to engage with, to learn from cultures and different backgrounds and just traditions and it'll be so cool if I grow my following to a point where I have followers all over the world and I can learn from them I can meet them they can become lifelong friends I think that's a benefit of also YouTube is your reach can reach people and you can also 
influence them but meet them and they can influence you like it's a two way two way street and i think that's awesome i want to be a girl that travels and eats the, the different types of food and tries different cultural foods i'm so into that and it'd be so nice if i was able to have people out there that i could connect with and just meet and learn about cultures my other thing is that youtube is going to change my life because and it's going to change my family's life that my fiance and I, when we start having children, we are we have created generational wealth that then provides for our children and provides for their children and their children and their children to come. And we have just broken this cycle and started creating new generational wealth. Like J and B, okay? Because she said, That's what I've got children in your first place. Yeah. I need that. I feel it. I feel it. This is my year. I feel it. I know God doesn't have me sitting in this moment on accident. I just, I know. I want to be consistent and patient with this year. Consistent with my posting and patient with my personal growth. Because we know it is never on our time. Never. But it is on his time. And I feel like I'm sitting and being obedient to engage in this moment and this season in my life that hopefully, God willing, changes the magnitude of my situation and my life. And I'm not in a bad situation. I'm just saying I want to do something more than just here. I want to go and elevate. I want to go beyond what I've seen, what I've grown up with. My mom always said, you're not going to. When I would grow up, I'd be like, Mom, I'm going to have a house just like you. I'm going to build a house. And she's like, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're going to build a house bigger than ours. You're going to have a house better than ours. You're going to... So our mom never let us be complacent in the things that we have and always striving for bigger and better because we deserve it. And we're more than capable of having it. We've never seen a glass ceiling. And so this will never be my glass ceiling. There's always something more. There's always something for me to strive for. It's always something. And so this right now is my something. And I hope that it can continue to be my something for the rest of my life. All in all, I feel like YouTube can change my life for the better. Whether it's growing my confidence on camera or gaining new friends, finding a way to put my quirkiness, and I, I have some quirks, <laughs> um, out there. Um, it's all a blessing. I'm just excited for what's in store. It's already going to be a great year. 2024 is already a great year. Let me tell you why. Because I'm getting married. You can't get any better than getting married. I mean, what little girl doesn't dream about a man getting down on one knee, professing his love and saying, I want you. Not in that way, but you know, cuter. But, you know, it's already a great year. So, how can it be greater? My YouTube channel taking off in 2024. Duh. Um, YouTube is going to be a catalyst for me. And this, this video is just proof of me saying it. And we're just going to all be waiting to watch and see. Thank I enjoy talking about this. It's it's good to get it out of my head and get it out of my heart and just put it out there and say, I know I said this. I know I believed it. I just, this is just for proof, honestly. So. Cheers. Bye, gorgeous.